Welcome back you lovely lot. Today we're going to be using all CJB colours and we've got nail all items coming out of our ear rolls. Guys, I couldn't decide which one I wanted so do you know what? Get them all out. That's it. Just go for it. So I've got dolphin shells, lobster. I don't end up using some little holographic turtles, some flakes, some chromes and some... What are they like? colour changing 3d triangle things my thought of train of thought rather my train of thought there with those was scales but we will get into that we're jumping ahead of ourselves guys so on the little finger we're going to do some marble now i am using mermaid lagoon aquamarine uh, amethyst is the lilac and Malibu Sunset is the peach. Wow, that took a bit of brain ache, guys, trying to remember all those colours. So, as always, I'm going in with small wet beads. Not too wet. You need to be able to control those beads. A little bit wetter in consistency as you would usually. Pop them down, put my brush into a point, and I will swirl them up, down, up. And that's how I, as a rule, do my marble i will always do the cuticle area first make sure that's nice and neat watching those sides there just tucking that in basically just doing the tracy faff and making sure you know she's happy so guys recently i did a it was like a nude and gold set the nail bed area was nude and i wanted to see if i could encapsulate gold embellishments that's where my theory was going initially with that particular set and i have some glass caviar beads that i have from aliexpress so i used the clear in and around the gold embellishments i will link the video a little bit further on for you and i got a completely different look than what i was going for don't get me wrong that led to this set of nails here today so i have done mermaid sets of nails but i wanted to do it under the sea so that's why i've picked these particular colors today I'm just going to finish off this marble, just finish that at the tip. I have put on nail beds, guys. You know the ones I don't like, cut them down, stuck on tips. I'm quite liking this long, you know, square nail at the moment. It's giving me a little bit more nail estate to work on as well. Rather than the normal stiletto full tips that I use. So, uh, so yeah, it's given me something to play with. So I'm just going to tap that in and then I'm going to come in with some chrome pigment in, I think it's like a pinky purple and some flakes. Again, same sort of shades. Again, guys, you can get these everywhere loads of people are doing unicorn pigment mermaid pigment pink 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 pigment can't get, can't get me with that oh dear and now i'm coming in with a shell what i'm going to do is maneuver that into the flattest part and then bend that round and secure that in place just with a little bit of acrylic so i actually wait for that to go off now Guys, I owe you a massive, massive apology, guys. So this colour here is, I need to get this right, aquamarine. Okay, that's the bluer. The mermaid is the shimmery greeny one and the uh, dark teal coloured one is lagoon. 
oh gosh, do I struggle with this? You've seen me do this before, I'm going to have to... Uh... So as you see, I push down and because I have a desk clamp holding the practice hand, as I push down, the hand just goes down, so I end up just peeling it off. Cut it through, don't get me wrong, but I peeled it off. And what I'm going to do is put some of those colour shifting 3D triangles. My train of thought there was scales. I thought that would look nice as a scaly look. So I'm doing a bit of a colour block here, guys. Now, I've got these two on film. So I've videoed the blue. I've videoed the uh, 3D triangles. Then what I did was wait for that to set up, put down some clear acrylic and go in with my clear caviar beads from aliexpress on the tip to look like bubbles but unfortunately guys it didn't video so what i have done is right at the end we have got a super close-up of how this nail looks when it's finished because i really wanted you to see the effect i got using the glass beads and it's right at the end guys I don't even know why, why why it didn't film. I obviously didn't press the right button. It's so easy to get distracted having everybody in the house. I don't want to blame anybody else. You know, it's my fault. I'm obviously not paying attention. And I am so sorry, guys. This set was built around that very thing. It was built around that effect on that clear tip to get those bubbles. And I don't blooming record it i'm such a numpty i am so sorry guys right then moving on there's nothing i can do about it i do apologize and like i said all i did was lay down really really thin wet bead of a clear acrylic add the beads to it i will link the video above so you can go and check out how i did it on the other nail i just did like half a nail with it on this one Right, okay, so now I'm going for waves here. So I am going to do a wavy marble. I'm using wet, wavy lines of acrylic, wet acrylic. I want it to smudge together slightly, fill out any gaps. And this is going to be, I want this to be the depths of the ocean. Okay, now I don't clear cap this in clear. I use dead to bare because it's slightly cloudy and again I'm going to give you a close-up right at the end so you can see how it works and I was so chuffed with these two nails honestly if by putting the holographic dolphin and turtles sea turtles if I put them on this nail in a minute if I'd kept that in clear you would have got a really bright holographic and that's great but I've done that I was looking for something just a little bit different so I wanted to get one where you can see it like under the water not clear all the way down you know how it gets murky where it's when it's really really deep you can still see it don't get me wrong you can still see it but it's not the crystal clear I was so chuffed with this. Again, right at the end, guys, I have put a, a, a clip in of how it looks. The tail was sticking up here, so I put a bit of acrylic and just held it down till it set, exactly the same as I did with the shell. Then pop on those little sea turtles, leave it to set, and we will come back to that. Now, guys, any of you who've been watching my videos, you know I'm into this resin lock at the moment. I am loving it. So, when you put two colours of resin together, it spreads out. So, I wanted this to be that sort of effect. So, the reason what I'm doing here is I'm going in the middle and I'm pulling it out. So, the focal point will be in the middle. I'm going to go in with all the colours. So, I have the aquamarine, which is the blue, the lagoon, which is the greeny blue, the turquoisey blue. And then Mermaid, which is the shimmery uh, turquoise shade that we've got. I also go in with a bit of the Amethyst and I go in with a bit of the Malibu Sunset. Again, it's all to bring depth to the water and the coral that's in there. You know, I, I love this. I really do. 
that I'm going to be doing more of this. I, it's a marble effect because it does bleed together, but it goes from the in coming out, you know, like a spider's web. I, was, I love it. And I got that idea, like I said, from using the resin and the effects I get there. So I'm going in with small beads. You can see I'm playing about with my brush, putting them slightly wetter so that they bleed together. I will keep going in again with a little bit of that chrome pigment, a little bit of the, um, the flakes, just to finish that off. Then, guys, what I'm going to do is cap all of these nails apart from the middle finger that I'm going to clap, cap in Dare to Bear. The rest is all crystal clear, all from CJP today. Then I will file and buff these into shape. Once these nails are all finished, we're then going to come in and do a little bit of stamping. We're going to use some mermaid scales using H07 stamping polish from Clear Jelly Stamper. Now, I'm not looking for uh, obvious scales, that's why I'm not using black or white. I'm going to use the holographic amethyst so that will blend in, but with the right light, you will see that. So I pop the stamping polish on, scrape, roll that clear jelly stamper on there, press, roll left, roll right, got to get round that C curve and then take that off. I'm going to do it again because these are really long so I need to just match that up and just do the tip area that wasn't quite long enough with the stamper. Then, guys, what I'm going to do is move all this out of the way because it's messy, because you know how messy I am. And we're going to top coat all of these nails. So I'm coming in with the top coat on all four nails. I will then zap that in the lamp for a full cure. Then, guys, that's the end of the video. So I really do hope you've enjoyed this little nail play today. If you have, would you mind just taking a moment and hitting that thumbs up? And if you're not subscribed already, guys, I would absolutely love it if you would. As always, all the products that we've used in today's video will be listed below. So go and check that out. As promised, there's extra clips today. We've got both the ring finger, the middle finger good close up there for you and then a clip of the full set of what we've accomplished today here we go so this is the bubble look on that ring finger how flipping cool is that and then here we have the murky depths of the sea guys thank you so much for watching until next time bye